best boys develop. Being the best player on the team. Right ball. Right side. Right Welcome back to day two of the Australian Mixed Ultimate Championships 2015 here in Adelaide. Starting off day two here with uh, Paul D games. We've got Minescu ranked 14th, uh, who are in pink versus Roundabout in white, who are ranked 24. That was caught just outside the line. So at the moment we've got uh, Roundabout up to, no, sorry, Minescu is up to nothing. So there's a nice movement there by Minescu into the end zone overhead. And that's a lovely leap and a grab to get that goal. So Minescu uh, continue their extended lead and it's 3-0. So today here in Adelaide, we're not anywhere near as hot as we were yesterday, which is up in the low 30s. Today we're just going for a, quite a balmy 29 degrees here. But it is going to be an overcast day, so the sun isn't going to have that much of a factor in terms of like dehydration and uh, other such effects on the players, um, especially this morning. There was a mention of possible thunderstorms but uh, I don't expect that to happen at the moment, even though the sky is quite overcast. So Minescu moving the disc up after a turn and they get their fourth point at the moment in this game. And they're now Minescu are 4-0. A little bit of wind coming up now into to this game, just on that pool, as you saw it drifted closer uh, from far side to near side. Uh, possibly could have gone out, but it was a, a nice catch anyway. There's a long put to the end zone. I think she's going to get that if well read. No, she gets a hand. Minescu gets a hand to that by number 21. Great work there to run that down. Had eyes on the disc all the way. Lovely work, Minescu. Minescu bringing the disc in just on the corner of uh, the defensive end zone. Moving across the field nicely, nice swing there. Number 53 with a grab. Lovely, looking long, puts it long to the advantage of 87. It's going to be a big contest, but he gets double bid on it and he gets the goal. Lovely work there for Minescu. Now up five is it.
Round about catching an easy pull, moving it up the field again quite nicely. So it's round about. So Mineski putting on a zone, almost getting that one. I think 39 might have been able to get that, but it was just out of his reach then. Maybe with a bit of a bid dive could have got that one. So Mineski on the counter here, putting it long, lovely put into the end zone. 23 brings it down just outside the end zone, so it's not in at the moment. Getting a few runs past. Still looking, but will dump it. That's an easy dump. And there's a, there's a good lead and another score for Minescu. Now leading 6-0. So both teams here having a nice sideline helping themselves out, helping out their team, making sure that they get the uh, recognition that they want in the field, and also some help. So it's nice having that eighth man on the sideline helping you out, letting you know where your opposition is. Now that one's up in the air. We could, might have a bit of a chance for a Callahan here. It's just a turnover though. Surround about lucky to get away with that one, I think, at the moment. Not towed in at the moment. That was just a little bit outside the end zone. Apologies, that's a, a fair way out of the way. But that one's in, that's the score that they wanted. Minescu now 7-0. Yeah, that was a, a nice call from end to end. <coughs> then roundabout just not being able to capitalize on that the last few throws to get there. Their scoring account open, but that's a nice hammer. And um, unfortunately, just through the hands, there was a perfectly placed hammer uh, for the receiver. And that's where we want to see catches taken, especially in the end zone. So Minescu now one point away from taking half, and they're up 8-0. And that breeze just picking up on that pull there. So Zone definitely wouldn't go astray here if they decided to put one on. It'll probably be gusting, a bit windy on and off all day, but not high winds, just expected 15, 25 k's an hour. And again, just, just a bit of a drop and a fumble out of bounds there. Lack of accuracy on that throw. Minescu will bring that back in. I don't think it didn't actually come back in. Look, asking for the hammer on the far side. Near side cut, though, will do. F probably have a few options open here. There's that one, towed in by Minescu. They take half quite comfortably, 9-0. Roundabout looking for their first score coming out next half. That's now. So Minescu to play D with the pull on the second half. Roundabout getting an early turnover there and handing it back to Minescu. Catching just outside the end zone. And oh, that was a nice low pass by number 12 reception. Great to open their account in the second half. Minescu still on their way, comfortable 10-0. So Minescu's uh, made up of quite a few ex-Australian players and people who've played world clubs and uh, nationals quite a bit. And this uh, roundabout side from Canberra probably made up more of a, a mix of uh, new players in their first tournament and uh, a few semi-experienced players that haven't played for quite some time. Probably explains the scoreline that we're seeing at the moment a bit better. And that's a nice pass there. Nice grab by Cam, number four. They're looking to go long to Tim, but that's not on. There's a nice defense for a no-hat play there by number four. Cam again with the diss. Just maybe pushing it a bit too much down the sideline there to Tim. And uh, gets a hand to it, but it goes out of bounds. Mineski bringing that disc in back from the sideline. It's a nice little easy pass there. The give-go comes back. Looking for the big put. 
The wind's Let's actually hit. coming from the commentary side, and that helped turn it over, so it didn't quite reach its target. Number two for Roundabout, bringing the disc in on the sideline over here now. That's a nice swing and a nice catch there by Roundabout. Again, the wind just a little bit gusting at the moment, coming from all over the place, and uh, I'll keep you updated on what's happening there. Again, just on the outside of the hand, not able to capitalise on that. Diskin on the sideline, number four, looking for that uh, sideline pass. It's going to have to be on this sideline or nothing, but we've got a nice backup there. Didn't know. Oh, possible chances there if there was good backup, but there wasn't, unfortunately, there for Minescu. So I'm thinking at the moment the best option for roundabout is for someone to go deep and just to put it because I think the spin's going to tie them up on their defensive end zone at the moment. And there's a nice hand in the way. Nice defensive catch by, Min uh, by Minescu. And that one just going out of their reach as well. And again, I have a feeling that the wind's just playing a bit of havoc at the moment. Again, not terribly strong, but just enough to um, put doubt into the mind of the thrower and the receiver as to what's happening. Roundabout bring their disc up. Like I said uh, before, I think probably, if you can hear me, just put it long, get a bit of distance on that, because at the moment they're not moving it too far. So now this roundabout get it to the halfway mark. And you can see there what that wind's doing. You can see that uh, on their jerseys, it's uh, now gusting quite a bit. Roundabout asking for a quick stack. Want some deep cuts there from their players. There, no, it comes in. A couple under, two under. They're blocking each other off at the moment. So a bit more communication there would be really good from that roundabout team. That was in the back. I'd be surprised if a foul wasn't called. In fact, Minescu called the foul on himself. That's really great spirit there from Minescu. That's all you love to see there. Just asking to bring the disc back to where the foul occurred. Cam number four on roundabout's got the disc. Again, asking for something from his players. Just a bit more movement in the deep, perhaps. There'll be a dump. I hope this comes off. I'm not too sure if it will. That's a nice catch down the sideline by Cam. That's what we really wanted. Just need to be a bit higher there so that it beats the advantage of the roundabout player. Minescu on the rebound quite quickly. Throwing it into the wind. So we might see a bit of turn, but not able to jump it in. This should be an easy catch into the end zone. That was a better point by roundabout overall, but Minescu now at 11-0. Well, I was going to say that was going to look like a, a nice flick forehand until it actually came out the hand and uh, just came over the commentary position into our construction area. So we might be able to get that disc back. Or we might just have to swap this mid, uh, mid play. I think we are actually going to have to get, uh, if we want to have a quick game, we're going to have to get a second disc. We'll just uh, be back with you shortly. Uh, we're going to, going to watch trying to get this disc. So, Minescu put in quite a heavy zone, four man on the zone here. And like I was saying, the wind has gusted a little bit here, so not surprising to see that zone from them. I have a feeling that would be quite effective. That's catchable though, and she brings it down very nicely, looking for the gaps in that zone. He really needs to move it on a bit quicker than that, not let them get too comfortable. I think a hammer over the top, and the roundabout need to get that moving. There's a nice season, if they get that going, it's a nice swing there. Well, these Minescu players are veterans of the game, so I don't think that uh, they'll be challenged too much by running around a lot. It's not in the early stages of uh, this zone point by them. That was, a, that was a lovely pick up under pressure as well by roundabout. So Roundabout actually doing quite well against this zone. They didn't do so well against Man. There's a nice bit there on the disc by Minescu. Unfortunately, just out of reach. And again, just need to get that disc moving a bit rather than getting it stuck on that far sideline. It looks possibility here. Zone gets set back. So close. 
That makes your heart cry. But uh, that was a really good effort by Roundabout on that, uh, that play. Mineski with the disc, straight away with a break throw, looking for something deep. Cut is back in. Now she's going, now he's going. They're looking for that long. They want it long. Mineski quite happy. They've got the wind behind their backs there, so anything they put up with a bit of angle on it will either sit or drop quite quickly, depending. Wind almost playing a factor in there. There's a lovely grab, might be slightly gratuitous, but uh, a good grab nonetheless. And that one just out of the reach of the receiver. As roundabout bring the disc back up to the front of their end zone, I think Monescu will be chomping at the bit here to get a Callahan. They'll have a very tight zone on at the moment, not allowing anything to get back so that roundabout feel that pressure. So lovely uh, throws there by the, the far side handler to get it through that zone. Again, giving Manescu a lot of opportunity with their zone, getting the stall count up quite high. That's better. Now we can see some movement. This is actually the roundabout we needed to see in the first half. Then I could get to places a bit better. But that's that's really good movement through that zone. There's a easy catch. That'll go into the end zone, and, and that's a score to Manescu. Lovely work, Manescu. Score now 12-0. Manescu going back to man defense. Has been working quite well for them. And a call there on the field. Put it long. That's what you want to see, son. That's a lovely defensive play there by Minescu. Nice early cuts there by Minescu as the disc is brought back into play. 53 coming around for an easy grab. Someone's looking for it deep. That's not going to happen. Nice swing there. 13 looking to put it up for their player. Not quite in the end zone, but it is now. Minescu comfortably away. Looking with the end in sight, uh, they're now 13-0. So even though Minescu are up quite comfortably 13-0, <coughs> they are talking to their players on the sideline, talking tactics, trying to make themselves better. Looking forward into the tournament. Minescu putting that zone on. Lovely pop there by number three. Not a lot happening. It's probably going to be, yep, there's a turnover and a call on that. I don't think he quite left his hands before he threw it. Just coming in, probably get another five seconds on the disc. That was better in terms of like yardage gain, but uh, unfortunately a turnover there for roundabout. I'd like to thank Ultimate Evolution Disc Club here in South Australia for putting on this tournament. And also uh, thank you very much to tournament director Dennis Shine, who uh, by all accounts, uh, from what I've heard from players as well, have put on an excellent show from day one. And uh, there's no sign that it will be any less from day two and day three here. 
Minaski put the disc up long. There's only the roundabout player back there, so miscommunication between the receiver there and the handler. Roundabout bring it to the front of the end zone again, and Mineski going to a man defense at the moment. Mineski not giving an inch on their man D, reading the plays quite nicely. Just quite content to see that disc swing from side to side. And again, just on the fingertips of a pl roundabout player through the hands, and Minescu get the disc back. Putting it up long, neither offensive or defensive player able to get to that disc quickly enough. After that turnover, Minescu decided to put uh, zone back on. Wind slightly from left to right of screen, so you're watching it. And definite chance for Callahan here if there's going to be something small and fumbled and bobbled up. Minescu players will be all over that trying to chew that up to get that Callahan. Now it's out of the end zone, roundabout, a bit happier about that, but might have to dump it back as well. And that was just so close to a Callahan, but not quite. But Minescu get the point, nevertheless. Now score is 14-0 to Minescu. Now, now we're back in play. That's a, a lovely pull there, just uh, hanging nicely for the players to get down. Not able to quite cut off that first throw. One down the line. That's a lovely layout, D. We like to see there by number 13, Grief. Chieftain with the disc at the moment. Minescu looking to get their 14th score of the match quite comfortably. And a lazy one into the end zone. Minescu now 14-0. Correction on the score there from the last point. Score is 15 to Minescu, zero to roundabout. Minescu still talking to the people on the end zone. Really want to uh, look forward in this tournament, I think, to uh, their next few games. So they're just trying to tidy up a few things, make sure they get their zone defense right. They're probably a bit unhappy that they're still getting a few, few throws from this roundabout team through that zone. So. For future reference, they will need to tighten that up against some of the stronger teams. Now a chance to really put it in on that sideline. There's the turnover, forced by quite good zone. And the score now 16-0. One point away from full time. So Manuscu just looking to make a clean sweep of this game at the moment. Roundabout hoping for their first point. <laughs> Injury called by Manuscu. Subbed in. Looking for the give go down the line. Not able to get that one. Again, just got this feeling at the moment that roundabout need to huck it long if they've got any chance. But that just does need to come back in. Wind now coming across the field, maybe slightly right to left. That's a lovely pick up there by Tim, number three, roundabout. Too easy pick off there. And that one's going to stop there. That'll be it. That'll be game, set, match, I feel, for Minescu. They win this quite cleanly, 17-0. Thank you to Ulti TV. Thank you to the teams. And uh, we'll see you shortly.